Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of FTL Faster Than Light. In the last episode we had a really good run. I'm now feeling fairly confident about taking on this flagship. As always I need to re-familiarise myself with this situation. We have a lot of scrap. I guess we were probably looking to go to a store because we're jumping into a new sector. And uh, one thing that I've just thought about already is the amount of fuel we have left is probably ideal for getting through this last sector. So we won't be needing to buy any more, but we do need to buy, or at least find, a shop. And there's one thing I want to mention quickly in regards to advice. For the longest time, people have been telling me, you know, take your oxygen offline, take your med bay offline and put it on other systems. And then all of the comments in the last one, despite having a good run, were telling me to buy some reactor power and to put it on the oxygen. Anyway, at this point, we've got our shields maximised, we've got a good amount of dodge on our engines, we've got a lot of scrap. And I think the only thing we really need here is maybe just an additional weapon to go along with this. Or maybe, possibly, a third drone type to use. But we are, I think, pretty well set up at this point. And I really don't know what that to spend that scrap on. So we're going to have to find a shop in this sector if we're going to spend it on anything like that. And I don't know how long I want to hold on to this for. So we can sell missiles for scrap. Look at this. We've got loads of them. We don't need them for anything. <laughs> Let's, let's take that. There we go. So we've got even more scrap now. Seems a little ridiculous at this point. Um, if we jump to that one, we've seen a lot of the beacons around here. And if there's no store connecting to this one, then I'd say we'll probably spend some of that scrap. Okay, an advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space, space? space station. Sensors indicate it is a storage vessel for military goods. We will attack the ship. Let's see, it's got a missile weapon, a beam, and a laser. And so we have both of these charged now. That is a luxury I am only just getting used to. We'll put that one on the weapons to disable it. Actually, it's got no shields, so why don't we just put that on the engines, and we'll put that one over there. Now, an interesting point to make here that was made to me in the comments is that as we hit the engines, they lose their dodge, so it means our hits are more likely to hit, or our shots even are more likely to hit. And so this has been a pretty effective fight so far. Let's just make sure those weapons are going to stay offline completely. And they missed us. This is turning into an easy fight, isn't it? Right, let's put that one back on the engine just to keep their dodge down. And they both missed. Not great really, so it's just us sitting here and winning. That's what we're doing, we're winning. <laughs> and we've got a lot of scrap and we're about to get a little bit more. I feel like we're in a really good position with that much to spend. Okay, so 64, let's investigate the station. And we've got an iron blast, that's perfect. All of a sudden this is going extremely well. Let's have a look at our ship. Okay, so equipment, we're going to put that in the cargo, bring out our iron blast... Not sure if that's going to be the best setup for the final fight, but we should probably look at getting an additional drone type that we can deploy. So we're going to sell our... Now, I've been calling this the Hallard Beam. Just, I don't know, it's the way I looked at it. It's actually Halberd Beam. So I know I've been annoying some of you with that. So we want to upgrade our weapons. We want to upgrade some power for that. And then I guess we also want to... Let's see... Just have an additional little bit of power. Like if we want to use the drones, we're going to need another two bars, right? So let's just get two more for now. We're probably going to upgrade this to full. And let's get our sensors and our doors upgraded as well. And I doubt we're going to need to really save this for too much longer. But there we go. So where's that power going to go? It's going to go on our iron blast over there. That's actually a different weapon, isn't it? Well, it's a slower weapon. Where's the charge time? doesn't tell me the charge time. I thought it would be a quicker one. Anyway, we've got two iron blasts and a charge weapon. That's really good. And so our extra power that we have there is for one of these drones to be activated. Anyway, let's jump. Let's jump forward. How are we going to make our way to this beacon? Maybe we'll go one, two, and then across the top, perhaps. Come around the back like that. I think that'll work. Let's do that. So what awaits us here? Perhaps nothing. Yep, nothing it was. On to the next one. Okay, so it's another one of these ships. Let's pause for a second. Oh, it's going into cloak mode, so there's not much we can do at the moment. 
It has a missile weapon as well as a laser. And man, it's cloaking for a full 15 seconds, isn't it? Okay, it just hit us with a missile weapon. Let's send two of our crew members over there. Actually, we might as well send all three. And what is it we want to do? That's our weapons area. So the iron blast is going to come off first. That's actually not too bad. We're just going to target their shields, obviously, and then their weapons when the charge has charged up a little bit. Okay, that really took our shields down there. Not all the way, but it came close. Okay, we hit their shields. Let's send... Wait, what's that? Is that a boarding drone? Something just happened. Let's send our uh, guys there and there in. We'll put you down on sensors. We could have actually put that fire out with the uh, by opening the doors. Man, a lot is going on quickly here. They just hit us again somehow. And their shields are back up. This isn't going too well. And I'm not using my third iron blast weapon. Feels like I'm half asleep or something. It is early in the morning. Okay, they're back online, so we're going to target twice now. And hopefully those two shots will hit and we can use the charge. If not, we're going to use it anyway, because they're getting very close to doing damaging damaging us. And our med bay is on fire. So let's send everyone in there to sort that one out quickly. Got to keep an eye on our crew health here. Okay, we should be doing good now. We're going to put that one on the dodge so we can hit them more frequently. And now the med bay is online as well. That's awesome. Did I put power on the med bay? I don't remember doing that. Maybe it was already on there. Yeah, we don't have two additional power left over. Our hacking bay is online. I didn't turn that on. And somehow they've just done random damage to us again. That's really strange. It's quite a few times the fires happened and their weapons... Oh, maybe their weapons aren't offline. Focusing on this too much. It's so difficult to focus on everything all at once. Yeah, look at this. We're not doing too great. We need to target the shields of both. Maybe even the weapons as well. Okay, let's put that one. And they're cloaking again. Brilliant. Right, everyone back to their stations. Everyone's healed. At this point, I'm thinking it might be wise to use a drone. We should be able to take care of the situation, but we haven't so far. And I think a drone might help us finish this. So let's pause. Let's put that one on the shields. In fact, we've got to get them both on the shields at this point. And then we're going to let our charge weapon just charge up. Okay, so their shields are down. They're not going to fire their weapon. Actually, they're about to fire their weapon, even. Ah, oh, so it's that thing. It's like the... Yeah, I see. It's a missile weapon. Right, I don't think I've ever encountered that weapon before. That's why I'm so confused as to what's happening. Anyway, we're dealing with it well, but now they're probably recharging their shields. No, the shields are still down. This isn't going well at all. I'm very tempted to bring out a drone at this point. It's just been a bit sluggish, this one. Let's put one of the weapons on their weapons so they can't fire. Yeah, this charge weapon, it's alright, but when, when you're not... Um, when it's not fully charged and it just fires every five seconds, it it's not so great, is it? Okay, we'll let this one charge up this time. Let's put both of these onto that and then hit their weapons. Okay, shields down, hit the weapons. Three shots go in and we finished it off. Okay, lots of scrap. No fuel. What are we going to spend the scrap on now? I think we're just going to upgrade our reactor, like that. And what else could we do? If, I think engines, it would be a good idea to have an extra bit on the engines as well. Although mind control, if we could, you know, mind control them for longer, boosts health and damage. Now we want them to do damage. Let's do that and that, there we go. So let's put some of that power on there, some of that power on there. There we go, looking alright. So let's jump forward to the next one. We're going to this beacon at the top here. 
Okay, you arrive at a populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting a request for a mercenary ship to aid him. Shall we respond? Yes, we will. Your ship seems reasonably equipped. A freighter carrying a shipment of goods is a week late. The fools flew through a pirate-filled sector in their haste, and I fear the cargo's safety. I'm looking for a less incompetent captain to investigate. We will accept. At least you're confident. For what little it's worth, here is their last known location. Added a quest marker to your map. So we got a distress beacon and the quest is all the way down there, plus a store. We're not going to visit that. So it looks like we could possibly go one, two, three, four, and then out. I think we should try that. I think we should try it. I'll go to the quest and back again. Okay, we're held to offer them assistance. Now, apparently when you use the blue option, there's no chance of failure whatsoever is what I've heard. So, <laughs> well that, there you go, it failed. Um, although we did receive some stuff as well. I don't know. Anyway, that'll all get repaired in the next sector. We're also on fire. Let's send our crew guys over to help out. That system there needs repairing. I don't know how long that's been damaged for. Let's just send everyone out to do something. So we got an extra weapon there, didn't we? It was the breach. And going to a shop now to sell these, you know, that can give us a little more scrap, actually. <laughs> Anyway, that requires a lot more power. If we get enough scrap to use it, it might be useful to have a missile weapon. We do have a lot of missiles in reserve and, you know, we're going into the flag fight soon as well. That's something really I should consider now. Maybe upgrading that system. How much will it cost? Oh, we can't even... Yeah, if we use the iron blast, we could, like, take one offline. One of these two, that is, and put the other one online. I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get there. Let's send everyone to their stations, and we will jump to the exit. There's another store there. We're dodging stores at the moment. We could possibly visit it on the way. One, two... Oh look, we can go straight there, three. Let's visit the store on the way. We can sell those weapons. Actually, I need to figure out which ones I want to sell, don't I? I think we're going to need a missile weapon for the final fight. Backup battery might be useful. Laser weapon, that's also tempting. And they're selling a breach beam as well. Anyway, we're not going to use that one. And I think the breach might be smart, you know. It's got a long charge, but it's a missile. Choices, choices to be made. Or I could use a laser. And that only requires power too, which means I could have all three active at once. And I've got to say, that is much more my kind of strategy. Let's sell the breach. And, oh yeah, let's sell our iron blast. So we'll put that on there. And then go to the store. Sell that for 15. So almost enough to upgrade our weapons to the fullest. But there you go, that's going to be our setup for the final fight then. As well as having some drones available. Really wish we hadn't brought that hacking bay. But anyway. We learn as we go. So down to the exit beacon. Only got eight fuel left. We're cutting it close, but we'll be able to get through to the next sector. Some missiles and drones for what? What's this? You look like a military vessel. We're trying to get back to our homes alive. I'm an engineer by trade and could try and improve your reactor if you have any extra supplies. Let's do this because our reactor is fully upgraded. Oh. So they take it and it's already maxed. Well, we've learnt that that happens now. So, not the end of the world. Okay, down to the quest beacon. Okay, it's a pirate ship. Let's have a look at its weapons. That's a missile weapon. I think that one is as well. And a laser and a beam. So they really do have a lot there. And our setup is slightly different now. So we're going to put the iron blast... And should we bring the laser on? Or the charge? Hmm. I think we'll stick with the charge at the moment. So, put the iron blast on their weapons. We're going to use the mind control. Yeah, we're going to use the mind control on this guy. Now, he's a better fighter than the other one, so that might be a smart decision. And then we'll let the charge do its thing, charge up. I think for this one we might be wise to bring out a combat drone as well. 
Let's do that right away. Let's bring that out because that's going to help. Okay, they are going to bombard us with an attack right here at the beginning. There it goes. And it did nothing. Awesome. Okay, so let's pause. Our mind control is doing some damage to the shields. Now's the time to fire, isn't it, on the weapons like that. Are we targeting their weapons with the iron blast or the shields? I think we're supposed to be targeting the shields. Let's change that. Their weapons are all down. Now we just need to keep their shields down. And the charge is almost ready for another round. Let's let that hit the shields and then deploy it. That was a very efficient fight. I think the drone actually made a huge difference there. And we get a little bit of fuel, a couple of missiles. Let's continue. Let's also upgrade our ship. Woohoo! Um, that's about all we're going to do at the moment. We've got 61 scrap. We'll probably put something somewhere, like on our sensors or our doors. But now we can have that online as well. Awesome. And then maybe we'd take, you know, power off of the oxygen and the engines and we could put them on the drones. This is feeling really good. Everything is working out. So we can visit one more drone, maybe even two, if you wanted to go over there and be cheeky and fight a rebel ship. Which I don't want to do because our hull has been damaged and it's a rebel ship right towards the end of the game. So we're not going to do that. Right, let's fight this guy. He's got two drones. He's hacking us somewhere. What is he hacking? Our drones. So we can't use those at the moment. We are going to target his shields. We are going to mind control the guy in the weapons room. We're going to let our charge go up and we're going to put the burst lasers on the shield room. Just going to try and help keep that down. There we go, we hit it and that is that thing up there. <laughs> You're close to a pulsar. Periodic waves of electromat electromagnetic energy will disrupt your shields and drones. And theirs as well, hopefully. So that took our shields down and also our hacking bay. Uh, but our charge weapon is ready. Let's put that on the weapons immediately. There we go. That was nicely done. And now that thing is just automatically firing, which I don't want it to do. Okay, another iron pulse is imminent. We'll be able to handle that, I think. Or we could accept their surrender at this point. Hmm... I think we should just accept it and get out of here. Well, actually, their weapons aren't going to do anything. No, we won't accept that. We just want more scrap, really. That's about the only thing that can make a difference. Well, I'm starting to regret that decision now because... <laughs> Let's get out of here. I know we should have accepted the surrender, but our shields are down. Things are being damaged. That was about to turn into a bad situation, wasn't it? There we go. Look, we're taking hull damage. Right, let's just recover. Okay, it's time to go to the next sector. That was a little bit silly, really. That wasn't the best of runs, but we have got ourselves a nice weapon set up. Drones, if we need them. I feel confident. Okay, we've read this so many times now, we're just going to skip through that. So 10 points of hull repaired and 10 fuel. So now what we need to do is travel to a repair base. That's the only place we can go, really. So we could go one, two, pick up as much scrap as we can and go to this one and then to the base. That seems like a good idea. So we're fully he uh, healed. We've got more scrap. That's good. Loads of drone parts and missiles. We don't have a missile weapon though. So what do we want to spend this on? I think we should upgrade our sensors and probably doors as well. Would be smart. Maybe mind control. <laughs> Increase the boost, you know. Control them for longer. Actually, it doesn't do that, does it? It's just their health and damage. Yeah, I think we're going to go one and two like that. Then jump to the next one, which is apparently no longer a repair base. So we're actually going to go over there then instead. Kind of want to avoid the rebels before the fight, which we have just done. Oh, we can go straight to the base now and wait there. That's good. That's exactly what we want to do. And do we get repairs and scrap at the base? I can't remember. Doesn't look like it. Let's wait. Wait again. This guy's going the long way around. I thought he was going to go straight there. Let's wait again. <laughs> right, I think our strategy for this final fight should be a lot of pausing. A lot of pausing is going to happen here. 
Immediate. Oh, well, we've got to wait for their uh, the thing to do its thing. Okay, so they've gone for our doors. We want to hack them as well, actually, in the beginning. Let's bring that online. Um, let's also take our oxygen offline and put it on mind control so we can maximize the effectiveness of that. So if we put it on one of these guys here, he's just going to take out the weapon, isn't he? And that's a missile. Yeah, they've got one of each type there. So I think we should target the iron because that could hurt our shields and the missiles first. So we will actually put you on there and we will hack that one. Like so. We will put the iron blast on their shields. That's going to take a lot to get through, so I think we'll put the burst laser on there as well to try and do a little bit of damage while the charge builds up. And hopefully they won't destroy us in the process. They missed a fair few shots there. In comes a missile, and it hit us. It hit us in that room down there, so we need to get a crew member in there to help out. Okay, let's pause again. They just had a few shots go past us. Um, so we're now ready to hack. Let's do that. I forgot to press that button. And our mind control is affecting that weapon. That's good to see. And look at this. Their shields are pretty much down. Let's target... Which weapon room do we want to go for? The beam could be really destructive if they get through our shields. So I'm going to go for that one. Oh, they I mean, cloaked just at the right time, didn't they? Uh, I also held down control just kind of instinctively when pressing that, which means it's going to automatically do it. Now, they just fired some missiles. We have no way to defend other than to hope. And that wasn't too great, was it? Let's send you up there to fix that room. And the guy from there as well. Okay, this isn't going too great so far. Our oxygen is really starting to lower down, which I don't like. We'll have to hold on a little bit longer there, I think. Just checking out all the different things going on. Okay, shields are coming back up. They're going to ionize our shields now. It's not good. Okay. What was that that just fired? That was the lasers. Now we want to use the charge. And we'll put the charge on. Okay, that guy's healing it. We're going to put it in that room. Healing it, repairing it, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, we can now use mind control again and hacking again. The hacking seems not that great, but I don't see us really having a choice. Yeah, let's use the hack. Let's also use the mind control when it comes back up. Uh, what else do we need to do? We just need to bring oxygen offline, uh, online, so I think we're going to have to take some off the dodge just for the moment. They have a crew member on board. When did they board us? Is that mind control? Have they used mind control on us? I'm confused. I'm confused as to what happened there. Right. Let's try and keep track of everything that's happening. I think my charge weapon isn't working. Is it just firing? It's firing one shot. I told it not to do that. Cancelled it. Oh, that's really frustrating. Okay, now it's charging up. So when that burst laser goes, that should be our moment to go through. And they've just fired missiles again. Oh, God, this is bad. Right, you. You in there. You down here. Let's get mind control back. What? They're attacking the doors, because our doors have been hacked. I see. I understand what's happening. Okay, right. Mm, I thought we were supposed to use our charge weapon soon. Oh, I'm really struggling to just keep on top of everything that's going on here. Okay, their shields are still not right. Maybe, maybe when this burst laser fires, that'll be our opportunity. Oh, now they've cloaked. Okay. Right, we can use hacking again. That'll take up a drone part. Let's do it. Take that weapon offline. And then we'll mind control someone. Missiles just missed. That's good. We have had a fair bit of fortune so far, but this isn't going too well. Right, now it's time to mind control someone. This guy over here. Actually, we're going to attack that room. So let's go. Let's go with the guy in the shields room, man. The shields have been so difficult to get down. Okay, those shots missed. Okay, now would be the time to use the charge weapon. Let's put it on that room. Okay, we've got a fire in there. That's a good a good thing. They hit us in two rooms. Right, this one is a breach. So we'll send two guys in there. They're not hacking our doors at the moment. Let's send you in there. I'd like to bring the med bay online as well. Let's hack them again. 
think we used the hacking bay on the wrong thing. We should have used it on the shields room, maybe. Is our is our charge weapon doing it? Oh, I took it offline. I think it's doing its own thing again. We also really badly need to get the med bay online. I think we're going to turn off oxygen for a bit. Get our crew members healed up. Okay, where are we with everything? The shields are weak when that first laser fires. Now is the time to hit that room again and maybe finally take their missiles off. Yes, we killed the guy. Alright, oh, that's a step in the right direction, but that took us some time. And uh, people aren't healing up. Are they healing up? Yeah, they are, just very slowly. Let's just send them down there and get it done quickly. Okay, let's hack again. Let's mind control again. Oh my god, so much to keep on top of. And our charge weapon is doing the automatic thing again, which is annoying. Now they're going to kill their own crew member there. That's fascinating. Okay, they've killed him. Oh, timing on this thing. Right, let's get the oxygen back online now. It got quite low there. Let's send everyone back to their default rooms. We've almost beat this, by the way. It's just, yeah, let's just get the charge weapon in there and get this over and done with. There we go. That was a little disappointing. I thought that could have been done better. Anyway, we get some scrap. And we didn't use any drones in that. Didn't use any at all. I think we're going to need a defense drone in the next one. Yeah, anyway, let's sit here and let the oxygen refill. I totally distracted myself and uh, came back to the game in complete autopilot. I waited, gone into this battle, paused, and then I'm like, hang on a minute, I'm recording a video. <laughs> I'm terrible, aren't I? Right. Let's think about this. We want to use that mind control effectively and that hack bacon effectively. We're going to target their shields. We are going to put mind control on their... Oh, their missile weapon, weapon doesn't have anything. So that will be the first guy we target. So I'd say that we'd also want to target that room. And that we'd want to put our iron blast on there. And maybe our burst laser as well. Which we might take offline in a little bit and put out a defense drone. Um, I'm also going to take oxygen off and put it on dodge, just because they've got a couple of drones out and we want to miss as many shots as we can. And uh, they've gone for our mind control one straight away, that's interesting. Let's take power for that, we can't do that. Let's send a couple of guys in to fight. And how is everything doing? Our charge is charging up. <laughs> okay, in go the laser shots, so the weapons are down. What's the charge going to hit? Their missiles, of course, which they've just fired at us. And two of them hit. That's really bad. How are we going to deal with this? We're going to have to repair that med bay quickly. So you're going to go down there. Actually, let's flood out the fire first. And I think one of these guys here is going to, yeah, he's going to have to retreat. Go back to the sensors. You would be better off down here at the moment. In fact, you can go and fight. Oh, so much going on at once. Let's make that move quickly. Okay, now, did he kill one of our guys? I think he killed one of them. I put two of them in there. Yep, we lost a crew member. I didn't even notice. And this guy is going in the wrong way. Don't do that. And now they just deployed a ton of drones. Oh, this isn't going well, is it? <laughs> it's not going well at all. The shields are completely down. Uh, what are we going to be attacking? That thing is automatically firing. Let's get it firing on the shields since we've taken their weapons or their missile offline. I think the next thing we want to attack actually is their drones. So let's target those two there. Hopefully we'll be able to keep the shields offline. Okay, we just took another hit somewhere. The fire is out in the med bay. Let's close all of the doors. And we need to repair the med bay before we can bring it off online. So you have to... Oh god, jump down to there. Let's put you in there quickly as well. Okay, how are we doing on the other front? Yep, we're hurting their drones, so I think we've salvaged this situation a little. We need power on the med bay. You need to sneak into the med bay quickly. Nice. Okay, and we're about to take them out by the looks of it. In goes the final shot. Okay, that turned around quickly, but that was a rough one. Oh, okay, let's uh, take power off that and put it on there. And let's go and repair everything. That was crazy. We definitely lost a guy. There's no one in the room down there. And I gotta say, this, this fight has been a little a little crazy. I don't think we even activated our hacking bay once it was deployed. 
which was silly. And you know what? I'm, I'm feeling good. I feel like maybe we can win this last fight. And if we do, we've won it on a run where we could have done it so much better and so much more efficiently. So it's a sign of improving, I think, overall. And I'm looking forward to doing another run as well. I'm thinking of playing a mod, though, for the next one. There's one called Infinite Space, which is like a survival challenge where you have to try and go for as long as you can, which sounds really interesting. Anyway, it's time for the final fight. Let's pause. They are boarding us. Note they have mind-controlled our pilot. I think we will leave him there. We will mind-control... They haven't got many crew members on board. They've just got the missiles on one side and the weapons on the other. Let's mind control that guy before they board us. Let's target their shields. Let's hack their shields. Super shields prevent hacking. I think we're going to need the burst lasers and the charge just to take down the shield in the beginning. Oh, doesn't that prevent it as well? Yep, I think I missed that. Right, so you will fight and you will fight. Uh, you have already lost some health somehow. Let's uh, get the med bay online while they're fighting. That's really strange because I just healed them all up. Okay, their shield is still up. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, this is really bad. <laughs> uh, this is going horribly. Okay, let's put the fire out there like that. This guy is now attacking the med bay. How long is he going to be doing that for? Let's get you guys in there. And what's happening now? Right, we've broken through the shields, so we need to hack their shields. Uh, we need to let that thing... Oh, no, that was wrong. Uh, we won't target that on anything just yet. Actually, no, we'll put it on shields or weapons. Oh, God. Let's mind control that weapon. That's the only person on their ship at the moment. And then we can put power on our engines again. Okay, let's hack. Hack, hack, hack. Oh dear gods, I think we're going... No, I'm no longer confident. This doesn't look good, does it? Let's send you and you down there. Let's open those doors. We need you... Well, actually, no, you stay there. You go and repair the shields with that guy. We need them back up as quick as possible. Oh dear gods, we are two hits away from being done. <laughs> let's, uh, let's hit the... Actually, no, let's hit the missile room for all we got, and that one can target that room. Okay, right, so we've taken their weapons down a little bit. Right, we need to get the med bay back online. We need to get... <laughs> we need to get you in there bringing oxygen back up. Yeah, we're going down in a blaze of fire. Oh, this is us. We're done! We lost! Ah, uh, not bad, but I don't know. That was too much to deal with at the end. There you go, they don't always end happily. Let's go look at the stats. Which one was our run? Is it this one here? Yeah, I think it was this one. So third overall, not so bad, but not the best. I don't know, if you've got any tips for how you think that fight went wrong, to be honest, there's just too much going on all at once for me to really keep up with it but there you go so as always thanks for watching and uh, i'll catch you next